Hi guys, so for today's reading, we are going to be looking into what makes you irreplaceable as a person. Um, the song Irreplaceable has come on a few different times recently, and I catch myself during that song thinking about how she's like, oh, don't you forever, ever for a second get to thinking you're irreplaceable. Well, you know, you're not irreplaceable either. I don't know. Anyway, uh... Everyone is irreplaceable in their own ways, and everyone has something amazing about them that is not like anything of anyone else. And even though this is a collective reading and there's going to be multiple people for each pile, each person in these piles is going to be expressing that in different varying ways or isn't going to be exactly the same as the other person either because we're all individuals. So we have four piles here. One, two, three, four. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and pick the pile you feel most drawn to. I do offer personalized readings as well. You can find my Skype link in the description box below and you can message me on there so we can set something up if you're interested in that. And also, if you enjoy this video, please like, share, and subscribe. It helps to grow my channel as well as helping to spread these messages to other people who may need them as well. And we're going to get started with pile one. Pile one. I feel like you're somebody very stubborn, very persistent, very headstrong, somebody who does not give up easily, somebody who has a lot of passion and drive, and you have taken your time to not only have those passions and those drives, but to bring them down into the material world and create a stability in them. You are somebody who may be very driven to go down a spiritual path as well. We have sip back and relax. We have the crown chakra one and we have the local farmer's market. So you're somebody who cares a lot about your local community and you support local businesses and local people. You're somebody who really listens to the signs, synchronicities, messages coming in from the universe. You're somebody who is very aligned with your path and your purpose in life. And you are somebody who won't give up on it no matter what anybody else thinks about what you're doing. Some people may say that you're crazy, but you know what? I don't think that you're crazy. <laughs> you're just very driven. So we have... You are charming, charismatic, and sexy. You fit in anywhere and are the life of any party. People love your energy, your ideas, and your drive. A blessing is coming into you soon. Open your heart and your eyes. Believing is seeing. Know that you are protected and your life purpose is very supported. So once again, you're protected. Your life purpose is very supported. I feel like you're very blessed, very protected, very watched over by your guides and your angels, your ancestors the ascended masters, things like that. You are also somebody who's just the life of any party, very charming, charismatic. You can fit in anywhere and you can relate to anyone. We have the earthworm. So you're somebody who is very drawn to healing as well, I feel like, in this pile. Healing yourself, healing the world around you. You're somebody who takes time out to cleanse, to remove yourself from situations when you feel it's necessary to... Um, go within yourself to heal and overcome any obstacles or challenges you may be facing. Reprieve. Every family has a person who takes on more than their fair share of collective burden. Does this sound like you? Have you been through the gauntlet of physical or emotional chores, only to come out feeling like you have nothing left in your m mental mop bucket? Consider this a permission slip to take a break. The world won't stop spinning if you take a minute for yourself. Your family won't fall apart if you act like a human instead of a superhero. Every Superman had a fortress of solitude. If he hadn't, we certainly would have found him crying on the bathroom floor. So you know what, if you're not taking that time away from everybody else to cleanse and clear your energy, to heal, to um, remove all of the extra accumulated energy that you've picked up from other people around you, because I feel like a lot of people in this pile may be empaths as well, um, it's time to do that now. I feel like you are somebody who is always there for anyone in their time of need. You're somebody who is constantly working hard, moving forward, very stubborn, very um, committed 
to your path, to your purpose, to the things that you commit to, you are very committed to. We have the King of Chalices. We have the Sun. We have the Sun again. We have the Ace of Swords. And we have the Ace of Cups. So you're somebody who has really been awakened in your life. You're somebody who not only has been awakened in your life, but you awaken others to the truth. To the truth of how much salvation, self-love can bring you. Um, you're somebody very decisive. You take quick action. You are somebody who cuts through the BS around you. You're somebody very emotionally intelligent as well. You're somebody who works very well with children. You're somebody who not only works very well with children, you work very well with adults, with people in general. You're somebody very... <clears throat> motivated, somebody very action oriented, somebody very hopeful, optimistic, joyful, somebody who brings a lot of love and light to this world. And it's because you are somebody who loves yourself as well as the world around you. You can love the world around you so much better when you are loving yourself and you have awakened to this truth and you bring this message of truth to other people as well. You're somebody who really, I feel like you bring a lot of messages from your guides to the world around you as well. You may even be a YouTube reader or a peer counselor or a therapist, somebody that helps others to see the truth within themselves and helps others to awaken to this new way of being, this way of filling up your own cups so that you can fill up the cups of others around you. Yeah, you're very, very inspirational as well. Very driven, very goal-oriented, very happy, very joyous, and you just bring a lot of happiness and joy to the lives around you. You are somebody who lights up any room that you enter. You really light up the world around you. You are somebody who fits in anywhere once again and can um, bring a lot of happiness and joy to any gathering or community. Um, you may even be a community speaker of some sort as well. And I finally got some letters over here, so I'm going to go ahead and grab some letters from this pile over here and see what we got. We got C, J, X, F, M, A, and O. So we got FAM, we got CAM, we got COM. You could have a website too, like fam.com. You are somebody everybody feels like they could be family with. Mom. We got mom. Fam. Coo. Moo. Fox. Facts. So you could also be very intellectual. You could be very, um, smart, somebody who knows what's going on around you, even when others don't see those things and connect the dots. You are like a leader of a family. You are a good leader of a family. You are somebody that your whole family looks up to and looks up to for not only your truth and your awareness and your happiness and love and light, but also for your ability to care for and nurture others emotionally. You're very emotionally intelligent in this pile, I feel like, as well. Somebody that just really sees things in a different way from other people. We got ooh, too. And we got ma. We got axe as well. So you're somebody who cuts people off when you feel that's, feel it's necessary as well. You're somebody who believes that tough love is love too. You're somebody who can cut through any situation and get to the bottom of it. You see the truth, you speak the truth, and you are very effective at communicating and also at removing things from your life that don't serve your highest good. So that's what I have for this pile, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you thought about it in the comments below, or if you have a suggestion for a future reading, I would love to hear that as well. And I hope that you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile 2. So for Pile 2, what makes you irreplaceable? What makes you someone nobody can replace in their lives. You're somebody very spiritual, somebody very pure of heart, very pure of intentions, somebody very guided by the light. You may be a light worker in this pile as well. You may consider yourself a light worker. Um, 
you're very pure though. You are very protected, I feel like, in your pursuits as well. You could be somebody who works with people that other people would never go near because they're afraid to, but you are somebody who's very protected in the things that you do. Um, we share in the joy of volunteering. You may also really enjoy um, cats or mice, animals in general. You could really, really enjoy animals and love spending time with them. You may work at an animal shelter or you could work at a homeless shelter or a soup kitchen. Um, you may even volunteer at an old folks home to do activities with them or at a head start to help out with the kids there, things like that. You're somebody very lucky, very bright and shining, somebody who is very abundant and fertile in anything you decide to go after. You really do excel in. I also feel like you're somebody who loves people very unconditionally and you don't allow other people to change your viewpoint on that. You don't allow other people to get inside you and cause fear and anxiety when it comes to what you feel like is your purpose in this life. You are very pure of heart. You are somebody who has so much depth and beauty within you. And you are somebody who is very, very protected and you really protect your own energy as well. You don't l allow the energies around you to overwhelm you and um, throw you off. You are somebody who stays in your own energy. We have kindness fills your heart and your actions. Empathy, love, care, concern, and nurturing are amazing qualities that you possess in spades. Don't ever change your heart, but make sure that you are discerning so others don't take advantage. So rock forever. So yeah, I feel like you are somebody who's very discerning in your actions and you don't allow others to take advantage of you, but you're very empathetic, loving, kind, caring, concerned about other people and what they're going through. And you really are somebody who is a bright light for others in their darkest times. I feel like a lot of you in this pile may be clairsentient or empaths as well. Somebody that, there may be some claircognizant people here too. Your makeup and hair is always on point. You are very good at designing. Whether it be a house, fashion, or advertising, you are very creative. A genius in how you see things and put them together. So you're somebody who could make something from nothing as well. Somebody that is very creative, industrious. Somebody that is very um, good at putting things together in a way that makes sense. Even if other people may not have thought that those things would go together, you're somebody who shows them different. We have reliability. I am the model of perfect reliability. Well, close to as perfect as a fal perfectly fallible human can get. When I say that I'll do something, I'll do it. It means that my family members can trust me and believe me. And you know what? It's nice to be believed in, even when that belief extends only to picking up stray socks and making beds. So you're somebody people feel like they can count on in their times of need as well as just in everyday life. You are somebody who knows how to make decisions, somebody who knows how to... Um, you really know how to You really know how to guide your way through life. Oh, we have the tarantula. So again about life purpose. Yeah, you are somebody who knows you have a special life purpose and you are somebody who has worked very hard to build and accumulate and Bring this into being. You are somebody who knows that everything in this life means something and is part of a higher purpose or plan. You are somebody who is very committed to your goals, your dreams, committed to bringing things to life that you believe in, and you are really working hard to achieve a lot, and you are very reliable in doing so, very consistent in doing so, and people are really very inspired by you. You bring a lot of inspiration to other people, and I feel like you guide other people towards their own life purposes as well. There could even be some YouTube readers on this pile as well, or just life coaches, or social justice warriors, um, spiritual leaders, 
you are somebody who loves yourself and you know what if you feel drawn to pile one go ahead and watch pile one because we had the ace of cups come out as well and there's just a lot of things that um really fit together in these two piles you're somebody who when you're you know when you're stuck in a prison of your own making. You know when others are stuck in a prison of their own making. You may overthink things at times, but when you're doing that, you really learn a lot from it as well. You're somebody very ambitious, driven, goal-oriented. Somebody who is quick-acting and fast-moving, and you don't allow any of those moments of overthinking to lock you in a prison of your own making. What's funny is I almost thought this was the nine of wands from that nine of wands from that deck when I first pulled it out. We got the nine of wands and the moon. So you are somebody who sees beneath the surface. You're somebody who understands things at a very deep level. You are somebody who really has been through a lot in your life and it doesn't matter how many things you have faced. You have been able to overcome any challenge that comes your way and come out of it wiser, smarter, stronger than before. You're somebody who can carry the weight of the world on your shoulders and make it look easy. You are somebody who faces darkness and faces times of illusion or deception, things like that with a very strong presence and you don't allow it to hold you back. You are somebody who may be very psychic, very intuitive, sensitive, emotional. Um, you're very compassionate, deep, loving. You also may be somebody that others really don't see the truth of in the beginning. They may question you. They may um, feel like you're crazy. They may feel like you are dark or um, deceptive in some way, but you don't allow that to trap you. You don't allow that to take you down. You are somebody who can see the darkness other people are facing, I feel like, as well, and you help them to navigate their way through this and to overcome it. I feel like you are somebody who is very purposeful in your actions, very determined, very... I feel like you're very fertile as well, very adaptive, very flexible. You're somebody that can really go with the flow and be at ease in the darkness. I feel like you're somebody who just overcomes any kind of mental anguish that you come into with relative ease. And I finally got some letters over here. We're going to pick some of these. I've been wanting to get them for so long. We got X, and we got that in the first one, too, and A in the first one. C, F, so we got facts, acts. We got two Ps, apple. I don't know why I was thinking apple. Like, you're the apple of my eye. Um, bunches of Xs. So there may be a lot of Xs that are you're irreplaceable too. They may have been people who are very in and out, hot and cold, stuck in a prison of their own making kind of thing, and you didn't allow it to drag you down to their level because you had this self-love. And I feel like you inspire other people to have this self-love as well and to overcome any of those obstacles or challenges that they're facing. I'm going to grab a couple more just to... We got V, so we got Vax. We got they, Way. Fay, fee, uh, pen, no, pax, pay, wax, wavy, pave. You pave the way for others through your actions, and you really bring a lot of nuances to them. We got fan. Cave, cape. So yeah, you're you're very, you're there to help anyone in need, and you're very different from others. I feel like you're very very different from others, and you're really there to help others in their time of need, and to work with others in a way that is beneficial to them. 
Um, you know what way you want to go, what direction you want to go. You are also somebody who um, makes sure to take your time and space away from other people as well. We also had Cap. Um, because you know what your breaking point is and you don't allow yourself to overdo things because you know that it'll affect you negatively. So that's what I have for this pile, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you have to say about it in the comments below on whether or not it resonated, whether or not you felt this sounded like you, and I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys.